Republican senators now calling out the Secret Service, claiming the agency is hiding information on Hunter Biden's overseas travel while his father was vice president. Chuck Grassley, one of those senators, demanding answers. He joins me now. Great to have you, Senator Grassley. We really appreciate it. Here's the letter that you wrote to Service Director James Murray. It reads in part, quote, the United States Secret Service did not produce any communications regarding Hunter Biden's travel for the years 2010, 2011, and 2013. Senator Grassley, why this request and why, why now? Well, obviously, there's a lot of questions about Hunter Biden's involvement with a lot of countries around the world. Also, most importantly, with China and whether or not he was uh, interacting when his dad was vice president of the United States to gain advantage uh, that way. And it seems to me that we ought to have these questions answered. Now, they have given us some information, but as you said, there's three years we don't have any information for. And then in regard to where we did get the information, it was so heavily redacted that it was hard to make sense out of it. And it doesn't have to be redacted for the Congress of the United States and our investigation authority under the constitutional power of oversight. So we want uh, this letter again is following up on other letters. It's just like pulling teeth to get answers from the executive branch, particularly on this subject. But, but the public is entitled to this information. Transparency brings accountability. And we ought to know to what extent uh, Hunter Biden, we, uh, we know that he traveled sometimes in airplane with his uh, father. Uh, and also there's an uncle, James uh, Biden, that's involved in this as well. Now, I can't, I can't make any accusations against the President of the United States, but I think we have a right to know uh, what the son was doing in those instances and these records from the Secret Service and the travel of him and the Secret Service would help us fill in those details. Understood. But Senator Grassley, do you allege that the Secret Service is covering for Joe Biden's son? Uh, at, at this point, you can't draw any other conclusions or it seems to me that they would fully come forth and give us all this information we need. And it's very suspicious when they don't do it. It's hard for me to agree 100 percent that they're covered uh, or they just not doing their job or responding to Congress. But it surely looks like uh, there's a connection there. First big tech, as we know, squashed the Hunter Biden story prior to the 2020 election. Now the mainstream media really completely ignoring it. Take a look at these coverage numbers. This isn't from a month. This isn't from this is from a year over the course of 2021. World News Tonight on ABC, 57 seconds. CBS Evening News, only 60 seconds. And NBC Nightly News, the big winner, if you can call them that, 191 seconds. With all the bloviating from Democrats about democracy and trouble, how much of a disservice is the media doing not covering the Hunter Biden issue, one which many people feel could have swayed the 2020 election? Well, thanks to your coverage of it, it's about the only place where Senator Johnson and I, and we seem to only be the two out of 100 senators working on this issue, but we've been working on it for three or four years, and we're getting more information all the time, but we're not getting to the bottom of it yet. But uh, uh, let me ask, answer your question this way about the media. You know, the media ought to be the policemen of our political system. Uh, the, the media ought to be keeping all of everybody in government honest and make sure that's what the First Amendment freedom uh, of s uh, speech and press is all about, to make sure that, uh, that uh, government doesn't interfere with it, but also in your profession to make sure that you ferret out all this stuff. And when only one channel, I presume you're the only channel that I see it on, uh, that uh, that brings it up, uh, you, you know, we could get to the bottom of it a lot faster if the other news media would take uh, in, as much interest in it as you do. Agreed, sir. Finally, with the Senate majority on the line, you are, of course, working as hard as ever to ensure conservatives take control of Congress, highlighting the failures of the Biden administration. You yourself are running for re-election this year. What conclusion are the American people coming to when it comes to the Biden administration, and how will that 
impact the 2022 midterms? Well, if you look at the polls today, and the election was the day we'd take over both the House and the Senate. Now, that election is 10 months away, and it's very difficult to predict what's the situation going to be in the fall. But right now, we'd have a heavy turnover in the Congress of the United States to a Republican majority. And I think it's because, uh, number one, what happened in Afghanistan, number two, the open borders. This president doesn't believe in enforcing the immigration laws, uh, the interference in, in the classrooms and, and the violation of free speech and singing uh, the uh, FBI on mothers and fathers going to school board meetings. Uh, and then, most importantly, the highest now in people's minds is the inflation. And then, don't forget, right. he, was, he, was going to, he was going to defeat virus. And now the virus is having more hospitalizations than they've ever had before. So these failures are what's leading the prospects of the Republicans taking over the United States uh, Senate and House.